Uh, you just can't stop post scores, man. It just is what it is. It sucks, but that's that's just how the game goes, man. So um, there's ways to stop them. There's ways to do stuff. And then, like we said, you can do that running man on or whatever, man. But I, I don't know any other way to stop. Hey, guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good morning out there, 2K land, man. Check this out, man. We're going to we, be... Hey, Today we come to you guys with a heavy heart, man, as as one of the greatest of all time, you know, he to ever do it. The Kembe Matumbo has gone home to glory, man. The joy, the passion, real, a legend. This is this is this is one of the first memories that a lot of us had of the Kembe Matumbo, man. Was was this picture right here? The Denver Nuggets, uh, the eight seed, be the one seed, and, and he falls to the floor. He just just dude was just super happy, and that's what most of us remember about uh about mount matumbo especially if you're atlanta hawks fan because uh you know he has some good years here man he christian layton and all them got not uh, 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 uh yeah yeah christian layton uh i want to say what chris lang uh you know those, we have uh, steve smith uh mookie blaylock you know we have some good years here in atlanta man i appreciate everything that deke was able to do you know for this man but this right here stuff like this is the things that we really remember man it says say never forget when dikembe matumbo flew eight-year-old uh matati from the congo to the u.s and paid for the surgery to remove his tumor rip dikembe man he uh he's who i wanted to be when i was played defense and a lot of people a lot of us wanted to be dikembe matumbo playing defense man because we wanted these type of things right here man like we playing with Clarence weatherspoon one of the best to ever do it too man and then you know he just got he just got all these blocks in a row, man. And you know, he hit him with the finger away. Nope, nope, nope. Uh-uh-uh. And even the commercial with the uh, NBA Live was like, dunk on them. Dunk on both of them. Dunk on all of them. Dunk on everyone. Uh-uh-uh. Like, you know, the Kimbe was just, he just came off as such a, such a great, uh, what would you call it? Um, a great, genuine individual, man. So, you know, definitely going to be missed, man. And um, he said, the Kimbe was talking about has Clarence Witherspoon. Uh, in the heck with three straight blocks and then hitting them with the finger wag rest in peace uh to a literal giant man and then not to be not to be overshadowed man one of the one of the d some say the best to ever do it in his sport pete rose also went home to glory yesterday he followed him down man two two titans of the game two legends we lost him yesterday man he got sports entertainment and a tombstone from k a few times bro like hey it was what it was, man. But you know, to be to be the all-time hits leader, and then you can take a tombstone to the face like that, man. Hey, man. Hey, it's 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 dope, man. But anyway, enough of that, man. We got to get into the video, man. Those guys, we just wanted to do a segment for them, man. Appreciate y'all all all the, all the love and support, man. Like I said, two guys did play the game as hard as possible, played the right way, and they told Pete Rose that you'll never get in in life. So maybe maybe in glory. They will let him in because he definitely deserves to be there. I know we still got a lot of people that are just did. Hold on, Gambit. I know we still have a lot of people that are like you, but you know, if you gamble on the game and blah, 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 you shouldn't be in. The hey, look, man, I'm not here to talk about that, man. We just, I don't know what type of person, you know, you know, he came off as a genuine individual and stuff like that too. So that's all we can do, man. Last but not least, man, hey, history. Bronny James and LeBron James on the same team, man. But anyway, let's get into this 2K stuff, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all already know what y'all what we trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. Love each and every last one of y'all. I need three. Y'all told me I didn't give away 2K, man. Look, this is what I got for y'all. This is the challenge that I got for y'all. This is all y'all got to do. I want y'all to put, ain't it a, it's an emoji that's a finger or something like this or something like that. Put them finger waves in the chat and a rose in the, in the comment section. A finger and a rose in the comment section. Pause, pause. Whoa, a finger and a rose. Oh, anyway, put the finger wag and the rose in the, in the comment section for your chance to win a copy of 2K. If we can get to 500 likes today, I'm giving away a copy of 2K. And that's gonna be that. Berg already getting one. So it's two copies. Berg gonna get one. Y'all y'all gonna, you know, cause that's one of my biggest supporters. He always in every stream. He always talking. He's always doing stuff, man. He gonna, he gonna get one. So, so I wanna get one of y'all one if you haven't got the game yet. Let's get to 500 likes 
and then you put your finger wag and a rose down there in the comment section and you'll be oh you then you automatically enter you ain't gotta be sub tell your friends y'all know y'all at school watching i know y'all at school watching this joint right now and you ain't supposed to be watching you're supposed to be paying attention to your science teacher right now but you're just waking up the crust still in your eyes y'all ain't even really brush your teeth you went to school you, you're really nasty for that but y'all in there <laughs> jesus is giving away a copy of 2k right yeah tell your friend right beside you man because you can come out here and you can understand what splash edition is talking about uh this is one thing I'm about helping people out, so this is what I'm always gonna do. I'm always gonna talk about people helping people out, especially a cool dude, man. I gotta get on here with it, man. We don't always agree, but hey, we always see eye to eye. And it just says, hey, I'm seeing that I'm seeing that a lot of Twitch partners are upset that raids now count toward average views. Helping affiliates reach partner. I promise you, helping others is so much easier than putting them down. Many people helped you along the, the journey, uh, also. Uh, to, to partner so do the same for others and you know nah 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 we want to be able to say we, we want to be able to say i did it all by myself no help Dang. no shout out Dang. no major raise Dang. i did it all i did it all by myself and nobody helped me along the way and i'm self-made and i even birthed myself Dang. 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 Shit. That's what that's what we want to be able to say, man. Even birth myself, and then like Slash, you say a raise now counts toward average views. Let me start blessing people, and that's what I, that's all I'm gonna do, man. Because a lot of times in the past we would we would raid somebody, but it doesn't help you get partner. So now let's say if I raid T, T's affiliate, he been affiliate for years. If I raid him, y'all come to the stream. I raid him with a hundred. That helps his his average view count in the past raids did not help you so you couldn't get partnered off of off of raids people would always be like eh. <laughs> you just got partnered off of raids shut the fuck up shut the fuck up it never like hard eight say man you never could get a partner off of a raid but even if you could why does it matter if somebody helps somebody if, if, if i feel it in my heart to to help somebody and genuinely do something for them why do you feel any way about me helping them oh because i didn't help you but maybe if you had a better attitude then i would have helped you man Dang. hey it is what it is man up next hey why are post scores so unstoppable every year bro you can't stop post scores man and, and that's you know that might be how bash put up them 43 points in the wreck or, what, or whatever like that man you just can't stop them bro it's like you get down there and you're standing on the correct shoulder and you got 90 some odd strength and you got all this stuff man you just cannot stop uh you just can't stop post scores man it just is what it is it sucks but that's that's just how the game goes man so um there's ways to stop them. There's ways to do stuff. And then, like we said, you can do that running man on them or whatever, man. But I, I don't know any other way to stop them, man. Y'all let me know what y'all best way to stop post scores uh, is next. Up next, hey, we got my boy, man, say starting five. Coach will say starting five is definitely the best rep method. If you can if you can get good at starting five, you can literally make uh, 10 to 15% rep in an hour by making people quit and <laughs> quit and bailing out. I suggest using the Lakers, Spurs, Knicks, or Celtics. Uh, if you or sell <laughs> Celtics, if you are, <laughs> but y'all boys wrong. What well, King Dude says, uh, Sixers and the Thunder too. Uh, you definitely, you you definitely uh, a full time. Let me tell y'all something though, man. I'm gonna tell y'all the dark a dark horse team in there. You can also use the um. Uh, y'all want me to put out a starting five method because I can do that. But you can definitely use the Hawks too. And uh, yeah, I got you one more time, damn it. <laughs> You can definitely use the Hawks too. And if like they're playing the point guard, you set a down screen on the point guard. Like you you get a ball to Trey Young, run up the court, set a down screen on the point guard at the top of the key or whatever. If he doesn't get up, Trey Young will shoot the ball from the hash and he gonna hit that joint like 80% of the time, man. That's how I've been winning starting five. And then I'm just shooting over people with the, with the rhythm stick. I might need to put that method out there, man. That's a good video. I will work on that and I will get that to y'all this evening. Uh, yeah, but yeah, and 2K, y'all gotta get, give me the 500 likes, man. Let's do this thing, man. Hey, up next, hey, my man said every year 2K nerfs uh, dunking, dribbling, shooting, and one thing that never gets nerfed is post scores. It's ridiculous. The most unskilled build in the game. It doesn't matter what height you are uh it doesn't matter where you it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter where you are y'all don't remember that dmx and jersey monet man but anyway uh i said the most unskilled build in the game doesn't matter what heights you are post scores throw you around like prime shack uh <laughs> it's tiring year after freaking year man hey it is what it is man he said let me clear this up for those who, who are confused when i mean post scores i mean the shove the shove off animation exactly the back downs the drop steps uh they removed animations for pulling the chair regardless of your strength height attributes or uh, statributes uh you can 
and will get back down and dunked on nonstop, man. And yeah, we saw that personally, man. Like it just, it just happened, man. But hey, it is what it is, man. Now, hey, but uh, look, we had that boy Joe knows. He uh he came in on something, man, and he just said this right here. We talked about this yesterday. He says that in your opinion, in on NBA 2K25, uh, are bigger players more difficult to stop on driving dunk than smaller players? And uh, like I said, I, I I put bigger players because the bigger you are, bigger is better. You just not stopping big dudes when the when when that big body bitch come down that lane. It's nothing that you can do about it, bro. It's just nothing. And then uh, I I I part King Carter said if you know you know, big or small, the hip riding from six feet away is happening. <laughs> You're right about that. And they gonna get that steal. And then he says, hey, or how about the fact, or how about the fact that you that your player's behind and can strip the player 90% of the time success rate on a driving dunk or a layup attempt, which is crazy. The game is so dang random sometimes. And it just happens. Um, it happens sometimes and then here we go right here. And then he just said, I, threw, I just, you know, he just threw up in his mouth or whatever like that. But yo, he's gone. And then, like, I don't even know what happened on that, bro. Like, I can't even tell you what happened with LaMonster goes to the rim and he slapped him upside the head and it looks like he takes the ball, man. Like, stuff like that happens in the game. These are the things that we're saying that are fundamentally wrong with the game and uh, and, and got to be fixed, man. And I think they will be uh, with this with this season two patch that's going to be coming next week, man. Up next, Laker fan says, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm actually enjoying starting five, man. And he says, hey, you're making the video showing the best, uh, the best team and method to play with. He said, I think I will. Uh, good. Uh, it's a good rep method, especially for solo players. So I figured, why not? Some people will definitely get something out of it. Exactly, man. That's what I'm gonna make my video today, man. I'm gonna show y'all which team you can play with. Probably gonna be. Uh, I think, uh, like, like I said, you play with the Hawks, you play with the Nuggets. Those are probably who I would be playing with because you gotta have. I'm. I, I can play with the Nuggets because I'm gonna be a shooter to spread the floor, and you are gonna have stuff like that. But we'll, we'll we'll go over that uh in a minute, man. Up next, they said like if you're using the square to shoot i want to know how many people are uh, using the square to shoot man y'all hey put the uh if y'all if you can just put it down there if you if you if you're a square shooter or if you're a rhythm shooter man because hey we we really want to know doggone what's the name says man hey we need another viral clip like this from joe knows man and y'all remember that y'all remember this uh this rant from last year let's let's listen to it real quick Run! i'm playing against this fucking lockdown foaming out the fucking mouth his fucking pupils are dilated he's fucking locked in i gotta be locked in too take this fucking dunk meter boy damn you know what i'm saying why the fuck do i have to water my build down when these fucking lockdowns don't yo listen if i'm go. fucking running point guard and I stand here for two seconds, the motherfucker's right stick fucking ripper in my shit. I'm fucking running like this, trying not to get plugged. Oh man, that was an epic rant right there. And Joe says that I'm about a week away, a week away from a rant, man. He says, and then somebody says, you know, why y'all gotta be negative? He said, I, I never said that it was a, it was about 2K. Y'all is saying, he said, hey, you are our last hope. Can you save the game? And he just says, uh, I was gonna rant about the uh, rant about this the other day. I've been looking in into, but y'all want me to rant about the game. He said, drop it tonight. He says, hey, you'll have the news. You'll have the news video ready before my head hits the pillow. Relax. You dang on right, Joe. That's what we're talking about right now. I'm definitely gonna be in that, man. So, it, hey, that's how I go. But this is what we need to be talking about, man. Yesterday, PlayStation servers were down as it as it pertain and hanky the tanky said it too as it pertains i don't know if the whole server was down the network was down um because lj plays astro body he plays it offline but i don't know if it was the whole thing was down or if it was just down for uh 2k but t couldn't play for a while and all of that and you know they say playstation servers are currently down xbox went through this a couple of weeks ago man and uh it, it seems like it always happens here and there but like we couldn't even get on the game we could play and then and then uh and then like you could get in the game load in and you walk around and it'll just kick you off so uh i don't know how bad it was but it was only a couple of hours so it seems like it was cool man up next i said me going off the me going off after my boy sold me in 2k for the fifth time uh, because because <laughs> he was talking to this girl on facetime bro why is it always somebody doing something like bro lock in pay attention oh wait a minute that's me that's always doing something else i know brute saying jay that's your that's your ass that's always doing something Damn. I'm in here printing transfers. 
I'm in here talking to Bridget. Dang. I'm in here getting work done. Dang, dang, dang. I'm working with LJ on something. Shit. It's always me. It's me. It's like, I hate when niggas is always doing something else besides playing 2K. Well, guess what? It's me. I'm niggas. So it, hey. <laughs> It is what it is. I'm sorry, man. We running, we running businesses around here, man. Trying to build, trying to build. Uh, it ain't generational wealth, but it might be your your generational wealth or something that we try to build around here, man. We just trying to pay the bills, man. So it's cool, man. Up next, hey, the Hop Jumper. This is Booth, uh, Boothick. He put out the Hop Jumper joint for the uh, bills uh, under six four, man. Y'all check those out. Um, it's a it's a link to it. I'll leave that link down there on Twitter, man. So y'all govern y'all sales accordingly on that, man. We just trying to get this through. And now we got this right here where Leafo is talking about something, man. Look, bro, I, I don't know. I got some bad news for you, Leafo, but I want you to tell them what you think real quick. Talk to See, me. I'm slightly Mike Wayne, the nigga leaving me. Hold on. That shit, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. Wide open. He's not even guarding me. He's not even guarding me. New patch. New patch! Mike Wing, the nigga still not guarding me! 94-3, nigga, you gonna see I'm slightly? You gonna still see I'm slightly? 94? Mike Wing, the nigga leaving me wide open. New patch, I'm still slightly. 94-3, Asian? Hey, man, I don't know what, what's wrong with my boy, man. He said he having one of the worst time. PGs are having the worst time this year. I don't think PGs are having the worst time this year. This is what my man said. He said, hey, bruh, bruh, just know your skill level. Go into a mode where you can put, put shooting on normal or low risk. You probably just ain't built for high risk. No shame in it. Hey, this is something that brutes say all the time, bro. If you can't hit on using one mo one uh joint, just use the other one, man. If you can't, it's cool, man. And it's like... It's like a dude said, this is the craziest coming I ever seen in my life, bro. Honestly, shut bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. He don't need to shut up. He's right. If you ain't hitting by now, look, this dude right here in the corner right here, y'all wanna know who our best shooter is? You would think it's Gambit? No, it's this guy right here, Call Paul. Call Paul is currently our best shooter. He done played with everybody. Paul ain't never been no shooter shooter in 2K. Paul the best shooter in 2K right now, man. This dude does not miss. It is a skill issue, bro. It is what it is. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and baby it and sugarcoat it and, and all that stuff. If you can't shoot by now, you're ass. That's just all to it, bro. You got to, or, or you just need more time to figure it out. But either way, it ain't the game at this point, bro. They done, they done, they done did everything we asked for. They done sped up the game with the sliders because I know that they done low key did that because even proving grounds felt smooth or they just worked out the issues with the service. They done tweaked shooting or we just got better at it. And, and I don't know what which one it is, if we just got used to the game or if we just got better at the game. But either way, uh, if they, they can fix these doggone random crazy steals, this should be good, man. Up next, hey, this mechanic is something that y'all need to learn, the cutoff mechanic, man. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on that too and how to how to really use it, when to use it, how to anticipate what's going on and all that stuff, man. But this cutoff mechanic, more or less what it does is if you know a person is going in the direction, you can flip, flick the right stick and hope that you don't get a right stick ripper animation that's gonna throw you out of bounds. And then once you do that, you should be able to cut the person off, man. So that's cool, man. Let me show y'all this right here. Or this could happen to you right here. And um, can you get that still next time? That's gonna... something that needs to be taken out of the game, I'm bro. The fuck off. I'm getting the fuck off. They, they the fuck need to take off. Oh man, and he pointed at him like, and he pointed at him like Randolph Childers, man, when he dropped Jeff McGinnis, man. Look. This simple pullback, bro, y'all got, they got a 2K, come on, man. A simple pullback that I wasn't even going for, bro, y'all got to fix that, bro, come on, man. It happens too much, but it is fun to watch when somebody gets dropped, man. Last but not least, I don't know if this last but not least, but this is Joe Knows says, hey, man, when people get them 15 plus cap breakers, uh, they ain't going to be a lock on the court, it's going to be five locks on the court. And he said, you're going to have more or less, he just says, bro, you're going to have three guys on the court with 99, three, 99 steel, 95 plus perimeter. Now you can't, this is why, they put the limits on the cap breakers. One thing about cap breakers though, you can add five to a particular attribute, stat attribute category, and that's it. You can't add 10. So I can't go from a, a five, uh, from a uh, 85 three ball to a 95 three ball. I can go from an 80 to a 90. Then when I get my next cap breakers, um, I can't stack on top of that anymore, unless you can because nobody's got to the se second set of cap breakers. But from what I understand, it's only five per category. And they said the game will be very annoying by by then. Uh, they definitely should have just had one cap breaker. No, nah, it's not gonna be annoying by then because because of what I just said. You're not, a lot of people are not gonna be able to even get to 99 three balls. So it is what it is uh, and you can't go above that. But anyway, that, like I said, man, we out here playing in the proven ground, the hardest, the hardest game mode to play with, man. And we having a ball and nobody's having issues with shooting and stuff. So a lot of stuff could be a skill gap issue, but y'all let me know what y'all think. And as we say, 
Hey man, Matumbo, this one's for you, baby. This is Mike. Mike uh famously. This is this is right here, Mike's famous uh free throw with uh with the eyes closed or whatever, man. And uh he said, Hey Matumbo, this one's for you, baby. He shot the free throw with his eyes closed. So we saying the same thing as we signed off the Kimbe Matumbo, one of my favorite players of all time. This one's for you, baby. Rest in power. You and Pete Rose. Make sure y'all like the video. Comment down below. Let's see the finger, finger wag and the roses down there. And also, let's get 500 likes so I can give away this copy of 2K. Love each and every last one of y'all, man. Just like I said, with these recent issues, with these recent joints, you don't never know when our time is, man. Tell your family you love them, if you love them. And I'll holler at y'all next time to next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.